Remember these little things that made a small pop when you threw them at the ground? They work because of a shock sensitive chemical called silver fulminate and today I'm going to show you how it's made. To get started, I need to make a chemical called silver nitrate, which I make by dissolving silver metal in concentrated nitric acid. This reaction produces a lot of scary red nitrogen dioxide gas, which is extremely toxic, so it's important that this part is done under a fume hood or in a very well ventilated area. As you can see here, the amount of fumes produced can be massively decreased by diluting with a lot of water and doing the reaction a lot slower. I did this specifically because I noticed a tint of blue in my solution which indicates some copper nitrate impurities. I guess my pure silver wasn't as pure as I thought, but this is an easy fix and all I have to do is recrystallize my silver nitrate and filter off my copper nitrate. This is done under vacuum filtration and rinsed thoroughly, and it works pretty good considering that copper nitrate is extremely soluble compared to silver nitrate. The end result are these beautiful pure silver nitrate crystals, and this is my most important ingredient. For my next step, I need to redissolve some of these silver nitrate crystals in some nitric acid. I used concentrated nitric acid for this, but a more dilute nitric acid actually works better, and you'll see why in a moment. It's also really important to make sure all of the silver nitrate has completely dissolved, and so this step can kind of take a little while. Once it is completely dissolved, you can add the final ingredient, ethanol, which I got by distilling some wine a couple weeks ago. The ethanol will react with the excess nitric acid to produce the fulminate ion, which is a reaction that can quickly get out of hand if the acid is this concentrated. This is why I said it was okay to use a more dilute nitric acid to dissolve the silver nitrate, because I had to go back and dilute it anyway. I ended up diluting what you see here with a 50-50 mixture of anhydrous ethanol and water, which made this reaction a lot less scary. At this point the mixture is gently heated to around 85 degrees celsius until a visible reaction begins to occur. At this point the reaction is exothermic and self-sustaining so the heat can be cut immediately. What's happening here is that the ethanol is reacting with the nitric acid to produce the fulminate ion which immediately reacts with silver ions to form silver fulminate. Silver fulminate is completely insoluble and immediately begins to precipitate out as a white powder. Once the bubbling stops, the reaction is complete, and to rinse my final product, I simply dilute it with a lot of excess water and then decant it off. This is because vacuum filtration of shock sensitive compounds can actually cause them to detonate, so you do not want to vacuum filter this. Anyway, after that, I simply allow it to dry at room temperature, and I'm done. But before I demonstrate the final product, I want to talk a minute about silver fulminate. Silver fulminate is a highly energetic compound that's a lot more sensitive than mercury fulminate, but far less toxic. It's actually so shock sensitive that a quantity the size of a dime will detonate under its own weight, which makes it impossible to make this into a weapon, but it's still dangerous to use. That said, don't do this at home, enjoy the demo, and follow for more.